Hi folks, I'm Jason Webster, commercial agronomist at Precision Planning. We are at the PTI farm today, Precision Planning's Precision Technology Institute in Pontiac, Illinois. And I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about one of the agronomy trials we have with soybeans. This is uh, our planting date study. And uh, one of the things that we do every single year is we monitor the yield effects of when we plant soybeans. And there's been a huge trend over the, the past five years plus for growers to plant soybeans earlier each and every year. And I do think that's a very good um, uh, agronomic practice. And we, uh, we actually got in here this year and the earliest we could plant was actually April 27th. A big contrast from last year in 2018 because our first planting date in 2018 was actually March 22nd. We got in really early, we were fit. We did get a little bit of snow after we planted, but those beans were actually our highest yielding beans on the whole farm, not just the, the planting date study. So 85 bushel beans planted on March 22nd. This year in 2019, totally different wet conditions. We were able to, to just barely get in on April 27th and the beans look pretty good. I've, I've pulled a couple plants here. These are our April 27th soybeans. We've got lots of flowers up and down this plant. and. Uh, we're at 13 nodes on this particular plant, again, uh, planted April 27th. But there's not many growers that were able to get into the field and get many beans planted that last week of April. And so we simulated that. It was, as soon as it was fit again, we kept planting. We had one planting date in May is all we could get in due to the wet conditions. Uh, we're about nine nodes on it. Again, flowers all the way through. One of the things with soybeans is growers always say, I want to be flowering at summer solstice. So that's the middle of June. There's a lot of growers this year that never even got the planters in the field till the middle of June. So uh, we are looking at, at planting date differences here. It's going to be a huge difference in yield, I think, once we take this to yield. It's going to be really interesting to, to look at these early planted beans compared to 10th of June. So big difference, you know, here we, here we are. Um, today is the 18th of July and we have no flowers on these soybeans. So this planting date actually represents some double crop beans that would go in after wheat traditionally. And uh, we know those don't, don't work well all the time. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if we can finish these soybeans. One uh, other note, not only are we looking at planting date, but every time we do a planting date entry here at the farm, we add in starter fertilizer. Does starter fertilizer pay early in the season versus later in the season? That's one of the things we check. We use Precision Planning's FurrowJet to make um, in-furrow applications of a starter fertilizer at every single planting date. Um, we'd love to share the, the data with you guys. We'd love for you to come to this PTI farm and see these trials firsthand. If you'd like to do so, contact your nearest Precision Planning dealer or go to precisionplanning.com. We'd love to have you at one of our field days. We have lots of field days dur during the summer. We're not just one day and done. We we're going the rest of July here. We're going all through August and even the first half of September. So we'd love to have you at the farm. Thanks for watching.